Okay, the title of this episode is Elephant in the Room. Uh-huh. Oh, God. And uh, <laughs> it's about stop. Hey, what oh, the that's fuck? Uh, good. That's a turn. That's good. a good turn. Yeah. Because we were all expecting it to be about me. Yeah. Um, so we had to... Uh, Adam lied on Twitter and said the recorder messed up. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> the truth is we had to just not upload the last episode. Because... <laughs> It was censored. It's so much. This is so counterproductive now. <laughs> this is so much you worse. You told me to do this the line. This is so much worse than just releasing it. He's going to get harassed now and called a bitch for censoring the episode. <laughs> oh, I didn't censor it. The government did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got a, a, a note from the FCC. The fucking cock suck. Cunt. Yeah. Fuck. Cunt. Um, cunt. <laughs> well, it's the, the Friedland... Censorship Corporation. That's good. Which is actually a bank (laughs) owned by Adam's dad. And they got a... Some things came up about Adam's grandfather and some of the stuff he did during the war. Yeah. Um, We don't have everyone's consent to talk about them. Basically, the problem was Adam's grandfather ran a little side business in Auschwitz (laughs) where uh, the, the, the women that survived the showers were... Basically up to the highest bidder. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> Woo He wasn't he an was Auschwitz. like the <laughs> the Dolomite of Birkenau. <laughs> he was like the Dolazol of Birkenau. Um uh, Dolomite ruled. Yeah. Yeah. You know fucking Black Spo- I fucking Is love that okay? Black Did I say too much? About the uh, about the crimes that you made up my grandfather doing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You well, I mean, that's not... I mean, we do on. have to address the fact that the other episode had to, you know, we had to scrap it. Because people are going to find out, you know? Wait, how would they find out? <laughs> Look. <laughs> well, they... <laughs> There's no way. Yeah, Amber he, just called Nick a bad person a bad friend, and she's actually pretty right about that. Is, it's, she's quite right <laughs> about right, that. Should we start it over? No, no, it's you, fine. You decided to bring up the grandfather rape conversation. I didn't we decide to bring that up, but continue. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Keep both it's... of these because one day there'll be good bonus content. I feel. No, Adam? this one's going out, guys. We're not doing two episodes scrapped okay. in a row. You can say anything about me. And we're my family. You're gay. This is going out. You're gay. I you have care. a little dick. Yeah. I'm you not know it gay? Huh? It, wasn't even I just got a, it wasn't even the episode. It was that you were in a bad mood about it. I w- I've, Maybe I you was. should listen to it. I had a lot of... I don't listen to Come Town. Maybe you should listen to it and see if it's bad. I listened to one, actually, recently. It We're not great. doing this. We're not going to talk about us listening to our podcast on our podcast. That's all. I, that's all I'm going to say. It was great. You did a little cocaine yesterday, and you feel bad. No. Okay. I've been taking Adderall recently, and I feel a little, little on edge sometimes. I feel like I'm kind of on. Coke I can't all the time. do that. Adderall is way more Adderall powerful than Coke. You didn't mean catter. Cadbury Earl, <laughs> Cadbury oh, eggs Earl, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe a little Fatterall. Fatterall. Yeah. Are you not as hungry all the time though? I'm not, dude. I'm gonna, I'm abusing yeah. drugs to get slim for the winter, summer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I am. I'm lightheaded always. <laughs> my doctor. Do your dude. fingertips tingle on Adderall? No. Like I can't feel my fingertips a lot of the time when I'm on Adderall. No, they don't. It's great. I haven't done it in years. I was in college. Day. Yeah, I did it in college to literally stay up and play GameCube longer. I snorted Adderall to get high with all my boys. Nice. <laughs> play GameCube. I love yeah, playing GameCube all night. I fucked pussy in college a lot. Yeah. I was roommates with like a rich kid, and he, he had one of those like therapists that would just write it, like drug dealer therapists. That rules. Yeah, yeah. So uh, one morning, I had an 8 a.m. class. I was like, yo, Danny, let me get, a, let me get an Adderall at your desk. And I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, no problem. And so I grab one. I had, I had a economics class, and I like get to class. I'm like zoned in. I just took the Adderall. I'm taking like these small little notes, and I close my eyes and I open them. It feels like two seconds later, and the classroom is completely empty. <laughs> And I just <laughs> looked down at the paper. There's like small little gibberish notes and then just a pen line down the side. <laughs> and then I like come back and I'm like, what the fuck was that, dude? He's like, what would you take? And I'm like, the fucking Adderall on your desk. He's like, oh, no, that was Xanax, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I took a Xanax. I passed you out three yourself? minutes into the class. You, yeah. lo- you must have looked so stupid, too. I mean, the, the whole. Just yeah, sleeping? I must have looked awful. Yeah, yeah. I what drooled all asshole. over my desk. Yeah, it was awful. 
That sucks, man. I'm I'm anti medication. I'm all about fruits and vegetables. <laughs> the food pyramid. Oh yeah. You know, I, I used to think the food pyramid was kind of stupid, but then I found out that the pyramids were built by slaves. <laughs> And now I support the idea of the food pyramid as a businessman, as a, powerful as a free business. market capitalist. <laughs> I'm really into pyramids, especially that one with an eyeball on top. That has to be my favorite pyramid. Oh, yeah. That's some cool shit, dude. Yeah. I can't. Dude, I fucking I wonder what Masons were up to back in the day, because I feel like Masons now are just like, yeah. I don't know, Adam, what was your grandfather up to back then? <laughs> oh, man, I wish that was... Mm -hmm. What they were Masons? In, what, they, wear, they wear the hats? Like the fezes? No, that's... Um, Those are Shriners. 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 But, but that's a type of Mason? Apparently, yes. Well, I think what the Masons did was <laughs> Masonry. That's what I thought, too. They built shit out of bricks. It has nothing to do with bricks, though. though they love the letter G and, like, uh, protractors. <laughs> that's their whole thing. Yeah, I feel like... They're fucking running the world. You either had to bro. be uh, like a guy that fucked around with bricks, or just a dude named Mason. <laughs> yeah. So you had to have like a single mom that was an, an alcoholic. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Mason. Or yeah, Mason. One of the Plumley yeah. brothers. The, the, the Caleb here. Society. The Cal <laughs> <laughs> I'm a free Caleb. <laughs> um. Fuck, dude. So yeah, that's good. What we just talked about was good. Um. What I what did I want to ask you, Nick? It's been a while. You had to go again. We haven't gotten your thoughts on the NBA playoffs in some time. Oh yeah, it's so, getting close to the finals, Nick. What did you Let's think do about a little LeBron's NBA game last the last game? I don't know. Was this even a funny bit the last time? It was we pretty did it? good. It was kind of yeah. funny. It was fun. It was great. <laughs> you heard it here first. Who do you think's gonna take it all this year? <laughs> What's that? Who's gonna take it all? Uh, going without consent? <laughs> Do you really want to know my thoughts? Because that's how we had to get rid of the last episode. We're wink, talking about somebody wink. taking it all. Taking something from someone who what? didn't want take it taken. I imagine your family being Hint, like... South African. Like one of those... Uh, like, you know, the... Like the you know, like cartoon mice that live in the wall and the yeah. dad's all scared about the daughter learning how Fival? to read. Yeah, yeah, the five, but there's a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, there's a lot of Jewish art where they like the to humans are nice to me, Dad. Nice. Daddy, yeah. Oh, yeah, Stuart Little, Papa, Stuart Little, uh, Mouse, <laughs> Mouse, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you know that's kind of the best thing Walt Disney ever did was take mice away from the Jews. Ah, that's right. He Wait, sort of, you say that like mice with Mickey or... Mouse, and then he took he came up with Chuck E. Cheese. Uh -huh. He didn't come up with that. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's Disney property. Chuck E. Cheese, the raccoons that suck your dick and play mm -hmm. the drums. You know those guys. Do you remember the <laughs> Do you remember the am animatronic shows at Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah, of course. The, that that's, was... He literally just mentioned it. Why don't you remember it? <laughs> God damn it, dude! It's like you don't even like <laughs> take others' feelings into consideration. <laughs> <laughs> you don't listen to things they say like yes or no. <laughs> I wonder if that's like a familial trait. <laughs> yeah. That's not true. And it's not about sex. It's about power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, did you ever have a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese? Uh, no, I never did. Where but was I your dopest plenty. birthday, childhood birthday party? Oh, it, well, it sucked because my sister and I had the same oh, that's birthday. That's right. You shared a birthday. Yeah, four years apart. What, why do people say that shit about... Rape. That is, well, it's not about sex. It's about power. I don't know. That's what they always say. Like though. you're supposed to be like, oh, oh, oh okay, oh yeah, fine. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, it's I cool, man. That's fine. Well, yeah. I, think they, I thought it was about sex. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just to trying to deter like horny people from raping. How you know what they because would probably it's do? Like, if hey, you're horny it's, and you didn't want to rape, you'd probably go to like a sex worker or something. Just throwing that out there. I, I want think that that's VR, work. dude. I'm gonna I fuck that PlayStation. That's real power. Yeah, spending fucking. thousands of dollars on virtual reality. You know equipment. what? I really I bought the PlayStation. I barely fucking use it, dude. I don't. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I use the Blender still. Shouts out to the Vitamix Corporation, mm -hmm. but Sony can suck my dick, dude. I might get an Apple TV. I, uh, Apple TV rules. Yeah. My next purchase is I'm getting a console, and then I'm getting a seven channel receiver. I'm gonna. Put, hook some surround sound up in this. Oh, room. tight, dude. Mm. Yeah, you that's know what cool. I want to do? I'm An immersive little... theater experience. Hell yeah. Yo, dude. put some egg crating up in here, make a man cave. Get some fleshlights. 
Yeah. You know, watch porn. There's a new flashlight. You don't have to like move. It just sucks your dick. I love just it. Hands free. I love it. That's cool. Yeah, it's called Adam's mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's called my mom. Yeah. <laughs> She's a lovely yeah. woman. There's a new flashlight that's incapable of moving. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Um, what was your best birthday party as a, as a child? Do you remember Adam and then Nick? I want to hear these. Well, I used to have to have joint birthdays with my sister. Oh, so all her dumb friends and so all her dumb friends would come, and then like, dude, as an older brother, brother are you grade, Irish twins or something. <clears throat> we're four years apart. It's just, the but timing the, is crazy. Is it the same exact Irish twins as I thought? Like eleven months apart right after or each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, oh. they're well, the they same just, birthday. Do you have? Yeah, yeah. The old joke my dad used to tell my friends was like. Oh, it's because my because my wife only lets me have sex once a year, oh, and man. then they'd be like, "Oh, your dad gets no pussy. <laughs> <laughs> he gets no pussy." Do you and your sister have the same birthday? Yeah. We have the same birthday. Yeah, born. No, I didn't know if it was the same exact birthday or not. That's weird. April. Yeah, same day. Um, yeah. So okay, so you have, and that sucks as a fucking older brother have to your to share with sister, your little sister, and then a whole bunch of girls, and then I was like, I I want to have a boy party. Yeah, so I think do. like fifth grade, I or fourth grade, I had my first own party. Nice. I remember the first party we rented Mars Attacks, mm-hmm. and it was PG thirteen, dude. Hell yeah! But man. we got to go there anyway as a uh, fuck yeah. Was that ten year olds, eleven year olds? That movie rules. Dude, I had a much gayer version of that where me and my friends went to see Spice World for my birthday when I was wow. like when I was like 10 years old. No, you had to be younger than that, dude. You were probably like, Spice World was what, 97? Yeah, then eight, I was 8. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. 96, 97? So that's a good film, bro. Yeah. And then I remember I had a sleepover birthday party once that was cool. Yeah. And yeah, then I went to my friend Phil's and we, we went on E Bombs World or maybe what was the one before that? What was before E Bombs? Um like that little Home Star Runner. To. There was some Home Star Runner, but there was like I remember one picture of like a nun with a real hairy pussy. Oh, that's cool. I think my best uh <laughs> we went to the uh my parents took like me and some friends to the Holocaust Museum. <laughs> And they uh, they had a clown that we brought with us, and the, <laughs> the clown. No, I'm sorry, I'm just remembering how funny that clown yeah, was. Yeah, dude. <laughs> he knew a lot of cool tricks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That is cool, dude. Yeah, yeah. the clown like uh, we he went do? into the shoe room and he was like, "Look how small the shoes are," and then he had like his big clown shoes. What is it about <laughs> the shoe room that every that that's what I that's the only place I remember in that whole in the DC museum. I've never been because yeah. you know I don't I don't want to spend my money to like a misinformation it's free. campaign. Yeah, I remember it's like free. I remember the <laughs> Anne Frank <laughs> experience where they put you in that thing that simulates. <laughs> Like a, a tr- like a spaceship. That's cool. What I do remember, you mean the experience? Uh, she was just in an attic. You I don't really that. go anywhere. You put VR and you just yeah. stay still. I remember the Lost World uh, video game where you sit in the, the Jeep. Yeah. That was cool. That was a cool part of the uh, Holocaust <laughs> Museum. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you sit in the train yeah. <laughs> car. Uh-huh. Well, in a way, I mean, it's train adjacent, the Holocaust. So it is a cool destination. If For, you are. Do you think there's Spurgo's that are like... If you're an autistic, like, complete, <laughs> completist, the, yeah. and you're like, I need to go to They're every like, I'm a Nazi museum. because I'm really into their train systems. Yeah. Yo, the sure. fucking uh, the, the Auschwitz, if you ever see like the tracks in Auschwitz, it's very impressive. I mean, they had like f- like 20 tracks like side by really? side. Yeah. Damn. It was like Those a guys huge operation. Really did not like Jews. <laughs> they, they really and, did. and gypsies. And, yeah, yeah. And communists. And gays and, gays and yeah. retarded people. And mm-hmm. yeah, they and ch- ch- killed retarded gypsies. But you, you'd think they'd put them to work. The They're gypsies. Strong. No, they do tricks. Yeah, yeah. They do magic. <laughs> no, they have like <laughs> they do sleight of hand. Yeah, and, haven't you ever seen the movie Thinner? No, that was a yeah. Of course not. <laughs> that was a gypsy. To put the curse on, uh, what's his name? The main guy. Mr. Big Dick? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, where he keeps losing weight. Yeah. Have you not seen Thinner? I've never seen Thinner. It's all right. It's not you bad. keep losing weight, that's the curse? Sounds yeah, good. Yeah, well, it's this big fat guy, and he, like, f- knocks a gypsy over or something, or he spits nice. on her, and she's like, <laughs> Thinner, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then he's, like, losing weight, and everyone's like, you look great, or whatever, and then he just, it's about AIDS, I He died? Oh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's an AIDS parable. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fuck unclean gypsies because you'll get AIDS and mm-hmm. waste away to nothing. That's a powerful message for our time. 
It's going to be cool when AIDS turns out to be the cure to everything. Oh. When they have that, like, recombinant or whatever, you know, like, super AIDS viruses that they use to just kill other diseases. I can't wait till, for that to happen. I'm doing that with polio to kill brain cancer. Really? Really? Yeah, they have they they like splice polio with a type of cold virus, and then they like inject it into brain tumors. No, that's not because then they so they right cured now. cancer. No, it's in clinical trials. Oh, right now? Yeah, it's a, it's still like a phase one, you know, study. Hell yeah! Dude. I know that Botox is uh, them inserting botulism, mm-hmm. yeah, like localized botulism into the face. Yeah. To make you look gorgeous. I want to smooth out my ass cheeks with, with Botox. I was on the Upper East Side recently. Those ladies look weird, dude. The Botox? It's weird that broads. you, like, if you're, like, one of the richest people in America, that's how you choose to look. They all yeah. get, like, they all look like ducks. Well, they should fucking, if they if they were real, if they were rich as hell, and they wanted to go the fucking Susan, uh, not Sarandon, although... She still, I would still give. Saranda looks Saran. good, dude. Susan Saran rap now. <laughs> she's made she's, out of plastic. She's got I feel big like she's hey, guys are age. Hey, I would love to fuck Susan Saran. I would fuck this shit <laughs> just for her body of work. She's uh, an incredible actor, great actress. Big you know, old. I, I think we talked titties. about it already, but it, I I hate the like self congratulatory announcement that people would fuck Helen Mirren. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's like, you know who I would fuck, actually, is Helen Mirren. Because she's, got, she's, she's got big, big titties. titties. She probably fucks good. Yeah, She's sure, got years of fucking I saw her. I saw that, her he at a ramen place, and she crushed that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She knows how to eat. She knows how to slurp a noodle, if she you can, know what I'm saying? She got, she got extra noodles. Ooh, yeah. my bitch. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, but you just mean because she's an old lady, they're, like, proud of themselves? Yeah, but they always, like, it's this announcement. Right, 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 they right, would, right. The, How magnanimous Well, you, you think you're the him. only person that's, like, willing to say Who that. wouldn't yeah, fuck right. Helen? You'd fuck... We'd all fuck Helen Mirren, right? I wouldn't fuck anybody. I'm, <laughs> I'm Volsell now. Are you a- asexual? Volsell vegetables. Yeah. You do... I'm all about Cryptocurrency. Yeah. I get... Volsell. Yeah. Volsell Vol- Vol- v- vegetables, Vitamix... Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. the word vagina, but like the Ghostbusters. <laughs> Volcel always sounds like batteries to me. I like, think it's like Duracell and like Volt. Yeah, like Volt. Mm. So yeah, that's true. Yeah, that is very true. Hold on, that's all I got Second. for that. No, that's pretty good. Adam, uh, Adam shit his pants today. Oh yeah, you I shit did. your pants. What happened? Yeah. What did you eat? First, as a thirty-year-old. Um, but you shit your pants like once a year. You it's a stomach pants. thing. No, it's not. It's a weak asshole thing. You got a weak asshole from getting. From jail. It's like it's my from stomach. Being in jail. <laughs> <laughs> for ta- you went to jail for bank fraud. <laughs> <laughs> for, for forging coupons <laughs> coupons to the bank it says I get a discount on pennies <laughs> like, you made this coupon yourself <laughs> no I didn't and then you just start shitting himself. <laughs> yeah when you get nervous you shit yourself I can't about go to get back caught. there uh, um, um, yeah I poop my pants you know what they do bit. to girls like me in jail <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Wait, <laughs> Nick, what is your real birthday party? Do you have any real birthday memories? Um, we went to Dave and Buster's. No, yeah, we to, actually, that was pretty fun. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, as a child. Yeah. Um, I had a bowling alley one that was pretty fun. Nice. Yeah, I wish I didn't even. I mostly didn't bowl. I just uh, played time cri- time, uh, time crisis. crisis. Yeah, yeah, time yeah. crisis two, and then. Um, and then there was like a, a like a kid that I had been friends with years prior who I had just never seen again who was mm-hmm. just like happened to be at the bowling Whoa. alley. Yeah, I was like, oh shit, and that's it was wild. Like, I was like, what, what are you here? It's my birthday. Yeah. I was like, oh, happy birthday. It was great. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, that was a that's nice birthday. And then we went to the Holocaust Museum, <laughs> and uh, we did that. Why did you even make me tell a sincere moment? I wanted to know a sincere moment. Who gives Sweet, a shit Nick. about that? That's this is a, cute. This is a comedy podcast. The fans. Well, do you guys ever fuck around with Skateland? No. Or skate rinks? No. Oh, uh, like, Skateland rule, dude. They'd have that fucking horrible ass pizza. You put my stepsisters used to go to a, a rolling rink all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I never. And you know what? I did for my cousin's birthday. I went. She had a a, a roller skating thing. Yeah, I was yeah. terrible. We had one skating. too. We had one at this place, Crystal Palace. Nice. And I remember one year, my they'd like announce all the birthdays, and it was my friend David's birthday, and they're like. 
And you'd skate in the for, middle? For people who don't know, Crystal Palace was like this place in um, in Las Vegas where you could trade methamphetamine to have sex with Adam's mom. <laughs> Well, we were at Crystal Palace, and then the Nazis came. <laughs> yeah. And then they broke the all the crystal Nacht Nacht Palace. Palace. And it was the Nacht of the... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so it was your birthday, and they call you into the middle uh, of the was that funny. It was my a fr- stripper named Crystal Nacht. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's good. Fun. I'm Crystal. She comes out, she dances to Wagner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, puts a, baby. Puts a glass in her pussy and breaks it. That'd be <laughs> hot, dude. That's all I want. Just a woman to to do crystal knock with her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a movie I'm starring in called Fivel Goes Down mm. on a on a down ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> There's the mouse eating pussy. Mm-hmm. About what kind of really animals? Is what about animals? a, a Fievel sequel called uh, Fievel gets a tattoo on his forearm, <laughs> on the inside of his wrist? So Mouse was technically <laughs> yeah, mouse, the, mouse. the prequel to Fievel before they came over to America. Oh, like, I guess, yeah, Fievel, they did ex- Fievel, escape. No, because it's all supposed to be about the Holocaust, right? Because there's cats in Fievel. Is Fievel about the Holocaust, too? No, no Fievel is about I Jews. Think it's more like mm. Ellis Island yeah. Jews. Oh, I, I think it's it was probably cowboy. Pre, pre-Holocaust. Is no, there, that's Fievel Goes West. Oh, okay. At the beginning of Fievel Goes West, he do, he has a newsboy cap from the first Fievel, and he uh, puts it inside out. And oh, it there's a the first Fievel? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know American, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All American literature and fiction is about the Jewish-American experience. That's true. In yeah. the 1900s, especially um, uh, Showgirls, the yeah. movie Showgirls. Mm-hmm. That's Elizabeth who, from Save by the Bell, Berkeley. She's Jews in that, and the guy that fucks her—that's Hitler. Yeah, <laughs> like uh, like Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> Wallace is supposed to be Jewish, and then Gromit, the dog, is supposed to be another Jewish guy. Oh. And the relationship they have <laughs> is just a relationship between two Jewish men. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, they live together in a homo mm. homosexual and relationship, no, like all like Jews. Ho- like just like a just a homo friendly relationship. Homo friendly. Yeah. <laughs> They're just two gay friends. Yeah. <laughs> man, you know what's the funniest shit in the world? To look at like the rooms wanted page for the Los Angeles Craigslist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just nothing but predatory gay guys. One hundred percent. That's like, awesome. Uh, what I'm offering is a room to share. We share a bed, share a shower. Um, it doesn't need to be sexual. It can be if you want. Maybe we can suck each other's dick. <laughs> uh, doesn't, I'm just looking for somebody, a uh, place to stay. You know? and it's, like, it can be if you want. Yeah. Just post on the fucking fuck part of Craigslist. It's all it's, those thin mustache gays, yeah. like the older, yeah. Well, it's anybody on Craigslist is a fucking predator anyways. But it's true. Yeah, all those guys are just like, you know, the, 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 what they get out of it is the idea of taking advantage of somebody that needs a place right. to stay. Right, 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 right. I, re- I told you guys when I was looking for that place in D.C., that Michael Jackson cult that I walked in on, that, like, old so. gay guy with, like, the thin mustache and the fedora. I was, like, talking to my dad, and I was like, yeah, I haven't found a, an apartment yet. I've just been visiting He's places. Like, I time. have some friends there. <laughs> no. <laughs> you need no. to meet my Michael Jackson and friends. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, hang up. And then there's this, like, old gay dude, and he's like, he's like, hey, like, uh, we got some apartments for rent in this building. Like, if you want to come check really? it out. Yeah, it was like in Logan Circle. Like before mm. it was nice. And then I like went in the building and like all the apartments were pretty small. He's like, Yeah, so we have a community of all Salvadorian immigrants and gay men. <laughs> and I was like, Okay, that's chill, I guess. And then so we're like walking around the building and he's like, It's mainly uh studios and then he's like and at the end of the hall is my apartment. And I went into his apartment. You just passed by the El Salvadorian immigrants and they're like, please help us. Yeah. <laughs> please see your help us. He called me, fuck my ass. He fucked me ass so bad. He fucked my ass so bad. I went, he fucked my ass so bad. <laughs> Mi testicali haces mucho caliente, señor. Yo, 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 yo tengo, yo tengo, uh, H, uh, <laughs> H E V. Yo tengo H E V. Tango los AIDS. Yeah. Um, anyway, so he's like, yeah, the end of the hall is my apartment, and I've done it up nice. You want to come see it? And I'm like, oh, okay. And then like I walk in, and it's like the gayest place I've ever been. Hell like yeah. all the walls are painted black, and there's like there's just the like Louis the Sixteenth like fucking busts of like oh, yes. uh you know like 
statues and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's these, like, two muscular, like, South American Brazilian dudes in their underwear, like, on the couch. And, like, they're just waking up. They're like, yeah. he's like, hey, this is Orlando. And, you know, like, and whatever the what? other guy's name is. He's like, these are my friends. They're just staying over. What? He's this is like, Orlando, everyone, and this is Florida. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, everyone, this is Adam. Like, I just want you to... He was on the phone outside to his father, and he was so scared. And he was trying to find a place to live. That's and I told hilarious. him to come look in the building. They just and thought they, you were some, like, they, Midwestern twink. They thought, yeah, they were they thought fuck, I was like, like a train this is you. Adam. He's looking to get paused up. <laughs> <laughs> so let's shut the door. We're going to have these El Salvadorian those, immigrants by teach far, him how to but, be a chambermaid. By far the weirdest part. <laughs> Please see your code <laughs> policia. <laughs> No me gusta rape. No me gusta rape. Por favor. No me gusta rape. I just want to go back to Jom Depot. <laughs> the Jom Depot parking lot. Where I can get drunk and drink Monster Energy all day long. <laughs> Wear my affliction shirt. And eat empanadas from the truck. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, by far the weirdest part of the whole thing, right before I left, I like turned around back towards the door, and then like next to the door, he had this shrine set up with like all these pictures of Michael Jackson, like uh like a feather boa, and it was like a shrine set up to Michael Jackson. I was like, it was like right, he hadn't died like I think oh, less really? than a year before that. Oh, okay, okay. And I was like, oh shit, like R.I.P. And then he's like, he's like, yeah, actually. Um, I, I happen to think that Michael is a deity. He's a, a heavenly creature that was sent here to Earth. Incredible. And um, the thing is, um, everyone said he did those horrible things, but if uh, you know the truth, the truth is he did not actually have any genitalia. Oh, And so that's why wow. he's completely innocent, because he was actually... He was an angel, Whoa. and he was he was all smooth down there. <laughs> and he I was really like, he really thought he didn't have a dick. That's yeah, that no, guy's he real didn't stance. think he had a dick or a pussy or. Wow. Adam was outside, asshole. and he was so scared. <laughs> he was outside <laughs> on the phone. Did you his going to that guy's apartment? I, I don't know. I was story. looking for a yeah. fucking apartment, dude. <laughs> so how did you get out? You're like, I, gotta I was go. like, trying. Right, I gotta go. You? No, he didn't rape me. No, he was, he, just like, he was just like a friendly old thin mustache gay guy. But if you grabbed his cock, you think he would have let you suck it? Oh, of I course. think I would have got me, Orlando, Florida, <laughs> yeah. all, all of them. Yeah. I would have been a This is Orlando, this fest. is Florida, that's Mickey Mouse, that's Goofy, <laughs> that's Disney, that's Walt. Um... I'm Cinderella. <laughs> yeah, it's well, it's really that generation. See, frog. Let's see if the glass dildo fits in my ass. Well, it's really like gay people are like accepted now, pretty much, mm-hmm. right? In society, not not, not my household. <laughs> no, no, they sir. are. I mean, they're yeah, on TV unfortunately, and, yes, like, they are. I, I every day I imagine having a son that comes out to me and I kick him out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> I have fantasies about it. Constantly. But that that generation, <laughs> that generation of gay dudes, like the we. <laughs> Weirdos, the John Waters type dudes. Mm-hmm. Those are the dudes that like got the shit beat out of them real oh, yeah, bad, and we're at like Stonewall well. and like mm. yeah, good you know, for him for getting sucked off by Orlando. Punching cops, yeah, good for that guy. For you should have thinking him. Michael Jackson was all actually, smooth. It's actually homophobic of you to not have sex with him. He didn't make a pass at me. He probably thought I was like some young street gay guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had like a backpack on and stuff. Yeah, you were, a homeless, but I was on the a phone. I trans youth. I wasn't trans. No, he well, probably thought I was like just a. He's miserable. like, I met Adam outside. He is this dickless little <laughs> trans girl. He's all smooth down there. <laughs> Please, Mrs. Adam, can you smuggle us out of here in your burlap sack with a dollar sign on it? Could you carry around with you? Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Yeah, I don't know. I've I've never really lived anywhere weird. In my life, except my stupid room right now, but it's not weird though. It's not weird. No, I've never lived with these gay men. I think I'm about to. I think I'm gonna fucking char. I think I'm gonna get a nicer room, dude. Yeah, you know, get a, get real walls. Come here, dude. Come to Brook. I might. We'll see. Um, let's be roommates, dude. Let's do it like fucking fun. Dharma and Greg. Yeah, yeah, dude. Adam's I'm Greg. Dharma. Yeah, of course. Adam, you're Dharma. Because I'm spiritual. Because yeah. you're Indian. Dharma and Greg were married, though. Yeah. You got, you got well, doll yeah. seams limbs. <laughs> we do it like... Uh, no, Dharma and Greg, I fuck you. We'd be Joey and Chandler. 
I'm Joey. Yeah, dude, we get lazy boys. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Watch, watch Baywatch, Baywatch together Baywatch. and beat off. Yeah. <laughs> Was that the implication of the <laughs> Absolutely, <off>? dude. They <laughs> got together to get hard. At the very least, to get hard together. To get hard next to each other in their matching what lazy boys. What fucking nerds, dude. Like, porn exists. They were like yeah. single men living in New York City. And plus, Joey watch. fucked all the time. Like, that was part of his character. And Chandler didn't right. fuck. I get that. But Joey fucked all the time. Chandler didn't fuck. He was sarcastic. He was, was that the funny thing? one. Could I be any more of a F.A.? <laughs> <laughs> Could I be any gayer? Um, um, I never really watched Friends, but dude, Courtney I Cox. met this little boy Chandler outside, and he was so scared. <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking for a place to live. <laughs> Please, Mr. Chandler, My, uh, take us to Ross. <laughs> Bring us to Ross. Who will save us? We want to meet Ross. <laughs> oh, I never fuck. watched Friends, but my cousins from Israel were really into Friends. And any time I'd say something, they'd be like, Adam, you are such a chandelier. <laughs> <laughs> that is Dude, so chandelier of there, you. There was a great, there's a great fucking uh, part of Friends where it was just like, they were just, uh, they were going brawless so no in the middle of the July fucking, life was oh, that was like a 90. Day. Never Phoebe. Phoebe's titties you could never see. Phoebe didn't have tit, though. Huh? You she could didn't never have see rack, Phoebe's though. titties. But well, neither did really Courtney Cox. I mean, Jennifer Aniston, I think, I don't know, who had the biggest tits out of Friends? I think it was Courtney Cox. You. What? <laughs> what do you mean by that? So no one told you life was going to be a this gay man. I already I literally just said that. You I fucking fucked your ass and you sucked. fucking cocks you, you said that? Little I, yes. Dick. All right, I'm going to start listening more. <laughs> I'm going to start listening better. It's like you Don't never listen to me, dude. Done a podcast you before. Know who you should be listening to. Dun, dun. Adam, you're who? a faggot. Please listen, <laughs> so we can have a better podcast. <laughs> I'll try. We re-recorded this because of you, and now you're blowing it. I didn't blow it. You have. You're not even talking to the mic. You know what I wish? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. There he is. <laughs> you got that. You got I wish, that. <laughs> I wish uh, you could get into like classic cars without looking like a dickhead. Anytime I see a classic car, I'm like, that looks really cool. And then you see the guy driving it, and you're like, oh, never mind. Yeah. Dude, you see that? You know, like, that a block away from me, that, that there's, like, a four-car garage on Green and St. John's? St. James? By you, at your address? By me. Which is... <laughs> no, whatever. There's, a there's like, a four-car garage, and there's this dude that has, like... He's like working on his cars all the time, mm-hmm. and he has a '57 Chevy. And he's like out there; it's beautiful. It's like really fucking cool. I don't give a and shit I about '57. I looked in his, but Why I looked not? in his garage. It's just like the most common classic car. Mm. It's like it is. You yeah. see that everywhere. I don't. But it looks cool. I mean, like if you're like just walking when is I'm that, walking the dog. Is that where people were getting fingered on Make Out Point and shit yeah. like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah. lot of but there's a lot of there's a lot of cool that. old cars around here. There's like an old like T Bird around the corner. Yeah. There's like a big ass, like, uh, big old Buick and shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's cool stuff to look at. Yeah, when cars were all 4,000 pounds. Yeah. There's a lot of that. sized. There was a lot of that in uh, in LA, too. Mm -hmm. That's chill. Yeah. But anyway, that guy in his garage, I was like walking the dog and I looked a little bit closer into the garage. He's got like posters and stuff. And one of the posters he has of is uh, the Ken Burns jazz documentary. He has a poster. great documentary. It's a good documentary, but it's like funny that he has it up in his like man. Gr- is he a black guy? No, I think he's a he's like an he's like a kind of like a working class. Like uh, he might be a cop or something. I, but he's I like a, he's, like an Italian. He, so he's white. Yeah, but he's like. He yeah. might be you said, Puerto Rican. Said, is he a black guy? And you go, no, I think he's like he has a yeah, job. He's working, yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. He's employed. No, he's he, like he Puerto pays Rican. his taxes. No, no, he's, he's like such a piece of shit. I didn't say me. that. You re, you literally did say no. He's like a working class way. guy. You know what? Everyone thinks you're the most. You no, know, you just cut me off the podcast. <laughs> I'm not. You wear crew neck t-shirts and stupid dad hats. <laughs> crew neck t-shirts. What do you wear? V-neck t-shirts? No, I wear hoodies and jeans. You don't wear t-shirts. You're literally wearing a crew neck t-shirt <laughs> no, right now. I meant sweatshirt. <laughs> I'm not wearing a sweatshirt at all. I wear right hoodie now. t-shirts. You wear, <laughs> you wear hoodie t-shirts? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, with a with hood, dude. The, I, I, wear, I wear tank tops with hoods. You see that look? Yeah, that's, that's a good a, look. That's a good look, dude. I actually have I have a couple of sleeveless hoodies. Nice, man. Yeah. It's it's a cool winter's out, gun's out. But you got you know? <laughs> Snow's out, gun's out. Snow's out. Snow's <laughs> out. Fuck. Fuck. 
some guys in there. Uh, I really got nothing here for yeah. snows out, hose out. Your job's a joke, you broke. Your love life's F-A-G. <laughs> Your job's a joke, you broke. You've you got, got a job off, man. Yeah. You know, um, for money. Amigos on NBC. <laughs> Did I tell you? Please, I, senor. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is me, Chandler. <laughs> I am the I am the funny one. I am such a such a the funny guy. <laughs> you know, we sometimes the my roommate Hoey Hoey comes in and he says something, but that, but it's a very dumb. Hey, I'm a Hoey. I want to eat tacos, man. Oh, uh, 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 could you be any more? You are so stupid. <laughs> What's up? Could you stay any more? <laughs> you stay any more, stupid? What's up, guys? Uh, it's no, me. we're done. We are done. It's Ross. No, we're not doing this bit It's anymore. me, Ross. <laughs> I'm no, a doctor of the dinosaurs. <laughs> We've already moved on from this. It's Como kind of los dinosaurs, guys. Not, not actually, Paleontology, not guys. Stop thinks the friends in Spanish is funny anymore, so <laughs> we're not doing that bit. Yeah, I kind of feel bad. It kind of is like a caricature of a proud people. Yeah, but see, we did it, and then we learned from our mistakes, mm-hmm. and then you continued doing it. And you it. piled on. It looked fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, piling yeah. on. That's a hot topic this week. Mm. You know? I got I got something you pile on to. Yeah. Uh, piling on to people, is it good or is it bad? It's time for the people that actively engaged in it for years <laughs> to come to the conclusions that the people they hated came to four years ago. Uh you know what? After like shaming people for <laughs> years and years and years and like building a career off of it, I yeah. decided that now I'm going to shame the people to do the shaming. Yeah. Mm. You know, I think that's my next move. Oh, that's I think smart. after I it's get double fired negativity. After I get fired from uh Come Town, I think my next career is probably going to be vice uh, columnist. Jappy, like sort of a Jappy screenshot uh journalist girl. Nice, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that when you finished your transition? You started in DC. Um, what transition? What do you mean? In, you the hormones and stuff. Yeah. When are you going to start hormones in DC? I started that yeah, transition. You've been a trans woman for a long time. No, I'm not a trans woman. I got a nude. You today. do kind of look like Chelsea Manning. Right now? Yeah. Cause well, because I got lipstick. <laughs> sort of like an army look. About you're wearing me. red lipstick and you have blonde. Be- you bleach your hair blonde. Are you saying I look like a hero? Is that what you're no. saying? No. Adam looks like Chelsea Womaning. <laughs> Nice. Nice, bro. <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> nice, yeah, bro. Yeah, you look more feminine than ch- than her. What do you mean by that? You look like a woman. Dude, I think it's a You're sitting like a woman. So what? You're not denying it. It's not like a woman, dude. It's like yeah, like an intellectual kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Intellectuals are gay. <laughs> Yeah, Being smart I, sit, I sit like an intellectual. <laughs> this is like an I'm intellectual. I'm going to teach my daughters to sit intellectual style <laughs> so no one can see their pussy when they're wearing a dress. <laughs> I wish we could wear dresses, man, in the summertime. Yeah, just get into kilts. Kilts are so fucking I, I was at a wedding. Such a fucking <laughs> Kilt, yeah, dude. Oh, kilt. my God, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was at a wedding like two weeks ago. There was a kilt yeah, It's guy. not even a fucking Irish thing. And so yeah. many people have pointed him out, that out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Scottish. <laughs> 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 Your name is the Irish comic. Yeah, this guy, Brett the Irish comic. <laughs> You're going station a kilt with bagpipes. <laughs> That's Scottish. God, that fucking rules. Holy shit, this whole time I didn't put that together. How you, stupid what? that you is. What? You didn't? No, dude. Oh, yeah. No, it was Holy like... Holy shit. No, at the so time, sh- yeah. new, everyone would be like, you know, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not... Yeah. It's like more of a Scottish thing <laughs> yeah. that you're doing. You'd be like, no, technically, uh, you know. Yeah. But he wasn't... He was like from Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah, He wasn't yeah, like... Yeah. yeah. He wasn't even... Not even Irish. He wasn't Scottish or Irish. Yeah, yeah. He had to go on stage every time like that. I love comics that are themed like that. Like, I see the headshots for uh, The Coach. <laughs> there's a guy who's just a coach. He wears a leather football helmet. And there's a... Uh, well, like, that's not even The Coach. That's a player. But he, would, he had a whistle and he would wear that helmet. Well, The Coach used to wear a helmet. In 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 uh, American football, The Coach actually used to play a part of... He would be on the field mm. oh. during the game. And if you tackled The Coach, you won. Uh, like oh, Quidditch. he's like the king. Yeah. 
It was like chess. chess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, cool. It was more intellectual. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yes, oh, yes. Cool. I know about this as an intellectual myself. Yeah. Is that why you're sitting like what that? What the fuck? So you can just call yourself an intellectual. Public right? intellectual. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm an intellectual. An intellectual just means you live in Brooklyn, right? Stav's a socialist. Yeah. I'm a socialist. <laughs> It means you tuck in your shirt and you live in Brooklyn. That's what an intellectual is. Yeah. You don't have an actual job. It means that you... Uh, intellectual is how you pronounce those parentheses around someone's name. <laughs> <laughs> it means you read... Uh, you read... Uh, what do you call it? Infinite Jest on the train so everyone knows how smart you are. I told you my favorite train moment was that fucking guy pulling Catcher in the Rye out of his, <laughs> yes. out of his tote bag. <laughs> Hell Yes. <laughs> What the fuck? How old was this guy? <laughs> I don't know. He's like 25. That's like a like book a, for a big, He was like, like a super kids. cool like street fashion dude. Yes. Like straddling the fucking doorway on oh, the train. Oh, yes. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I feel stupid because I love Catcher in the Rye. That's a good book. But I just that's when I stopped being smart is like when I was 16. Yeah. Well, you weren't smart then either. No, I was smart, bitch. Everyone, was smart. everyone thinks they're smart. That's, that's like the... That's the most beautiful thing to witness is people who are like 22... 23 turning 24 realizing that their precociousness just maxes out and then they're going to get progressively dumber yeah and then they have like this fucking downward spiral right well i'm not saying i'm still smart yeah like i was tall in sixth grade i'm not tall anymore we've been the same height i was the same smartness but i've my brain has turned to mush because all i do is fucking comedy and like you know beat off and like play video well I don't even play video games I don't know what I do with my days really if I'm being honest but yeah I used to be smart you could be smart and then turn dumb which is what I've done I stopped reading I don't really write anything anymore I used to write all the time I feel like Chinese people stay smart no, yeah dude. because they just you know they're about that work you know they're no. about that discipline it seems like they're smart because you don't know what they're saying probably some smart shit dude yeah it's all math. It is math. They all they are yeah. all doing division. Uh, two it's plus two eight is four. <laughs> Nine square root uh, five five hundred million. Uh, two uh, uh, two times divided by fifteen. <laughs> Just translate uh, five square root five geometry precalculus. Uh, the derivative nine nine hundred two hundred dollar three hundred. <laughs> was it like that immigrant we were doing one time? The guy's like, hey, babe, you come here, maybe five dollars, maybe. Oh, maybe, maybe, less. Yeah. <laughs> Every sentence ends yeah. with, hey, yeah, five dollars, yeah, maybe three dollars. Maybe three dollars, maybe less. <laughs> yeah, he's just always <laughs> hag- <laughs> haggling. <laughs> you come here, I give sentence. you good price. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you have lunch today, pretty good. Uh, hey, five dollars, maybe two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> maybe more, maybe less. That was a less. fun character. That was a good one. The yeah, haggle maybe guy? Less, yeah. Fuck, dude, my tooth hurts. Does anybody know a good dentist? Wait, your shit didn't get fixed by that. It got fixed. So I've, we, I don't think you've updated. I don't the even told anyone. Yeah, yeah. You, I went to in L.A. for this. I went to uh, my mom. I forgot my mom works at a dental lab, so she knows. She like, sent you to a general contractor. Yeah, no, she knows a fucking dentist, dude. This guy rules. Mm-hmm. But I had to get there. At like, is your mom's job to test the fake teeth to see how they hold up when to a dick is put dick. in between them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. chomps down hard as hell. She gets new dentures and sucks a <laughs> brand new dick every week. <laughs> really? Are you yeah. gonna drag your mom like that, dude? I think what? it's pretty disrespectful. I'm, I'm telling you what her job is. Fuck up, dude. Okay. I'm Don't telling you Don't ever what her job tell is. him how to interact with his own mother on this Thank podcast. You, Nick. You're welcome. Thank you, man. <laughs> That's I'm, so hey, fucking rude of you look, to I'm, fucking talk about my mom like I'm that. I'm about Adam. sticking up for my friends. <laughs> Thank you, mom, man. You know? What you, why did mom, you say that about? Oh, you're, there's a stigma about her job, man. She raised three beautiful boys in this country. She did. She you're right. Deserves some respect. First of all, you don't Apology know that you don't know, be you don't know the gender of his brothers. That's right. I know. Do you know that how my brother genders. George identifies? Nick and George. How does George identify? George identifies as cishet. Nope. He's trans. No, he's not. Yes, he is. That's not true, dude. He's trans curious. Actually, he told me the other day that he's been telling you that he's trans. <laughs> dude, what really, did he, he whisper it into your head. ear from behind well, you? Well, he fucked you in the ass. Because yeah. he's trans, That's but he still fucks boys. That's what I was boys. implying, baby. That's not true. Yeah. Anyway, my brother fucked you, and my mom has a cool job at a dental lab that she's proud of, and I'm proud of her. And she got me the hookup at a dentist where I went there at 2 p.m., and I just sat there, and this guy... Like would work on my tooth He would do like Five minutes of work Every like hour So I was just fucking Sitting in the dentist chair With fucking Novocaine And my shit Watching Property Brothers That fucking rules I like to imagine him Like leaning back in the chair And like Playing an electric guitar That's not plugged in (laughs) Is your tooth fucked up still? Oh okay 
Is yeah. Novocaine like nitrous? Like you do at like Grateful no, Dead no. concerts? No, no, no. no that's different. He just does shit. Novocaine? What are you talking about? People do nitrous at like in the parking lots. Yeah, of, like, no shit. It's a gas. What's Novocaine? It's they inject. Have you never yeah. gotten any kind of? They oral inject surgery? your gums in the, with that shit. Yeah, they do the gas, don't they? No, 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 no. They, no, no. no, they don't get a gas you to get a fucking cavity filled. That's what they do to me. I thought, right? Oh, it's probably no, they you, then I, they I, I had you. a cavity when I was like young, but I don't really. They gassed you. Good. You were unconscious, and they fucked you. Okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> stop. How's your mouth? Yeah, so this motherfucker, uh, he shouts out to the doc. He he ruled. He didn't charge me. I just had to stay there for like seven hours. He like kind of worked on me in between in between uh, other patients. Uh, and oh, also though, shouts out to this guy. He was like, he was like, do you uh, you're a comedian. He was like, your mom tells me you're a comedian. Do you like uh, do you do dirty jokes? And he was like, uh, oh, here's a dirty joke. And he told me that joke about uh, the nine inch pianist. <laughs> you know that joke where it's like. No. You don't know that? It's a classic I mean, I can bit. figure out kind of... Yeah. What is the joke? He's like, uh, uh, you you walk into... Some guy asked for... He was like, a genie at, granted his wish, but the genie was hard of hearing. So he had... There was a nine-inch pianist on the table. He was like, yeah, I asked for a nine-inch pianist. Uh, yeah, you can put it together. I don't. I mean, I butchered the joke, but... He asked for a nine inch cock, but he gets he like a nine inch nine piano inch planner. Playing piano, yeah, that yeah. sucks, dude. It's I would punch joke. that genie in the fucking yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. If you had a genie, what would you wish for? A ten inch cock. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a bigger dick, Adam? Are you not satisfied? I don't know. It really like my dick isn't that good, but it's like really hasn't failed me so far. Sure. Yeah. I used to want it to be bigger when I'd see like porn as a kid. I thought that all dicks were that yeah. size. I'd like to plump it up around the edges. I don't know. You're I mean, yeah. I mean, obviously, if it was bigger, it'd be hilarious. It'd be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, it's I would not... take a hundred million dollars. I think. Yeah, yeah. That's probably. Uh, I don't want to be greedy, but I think I'd be happy with a hundred. What million. would you do? <laughs> what would you do? A hundred with a hundred yeah. million? Yeah. I like half of it for just speculative investments to try and turn it into a billion. Nice. Just ask for a billion from the genie. You really only need to make it but ten that's no, times. That's no fun. bigger. I was. That's no fun. I would get I mean, the house I would, I would want to. I would want to gamble a shit ton of it. With fifty million, you could still do what the fuck ever That's you true. want forever. Well, I would yeah. ask for one million and get everything that kid in blank check got. Oh, the so, boxing thing. Remember yeah. the boxing thing? That all, That's pretty all, cool. All that cost was a million. Dude. Mr. McIntosh. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Well, he didn't get shit. He got like he already had a nice house. I don't yeah, know, he's got like a s- fucking cunt mom he fu- lived there. He fucked that lady though, right? That's the implication. Yeah, he's he had sex a bunch. <laughs> a Let's re- Let's do a gritty reboot of Blank Check, and it's just a kid spending all his money yeah. on hooers. Um, no, I was saying, I was going to say, no, I would buy. I would actually, I was already looking at it. A, a gold claim in Alaska that comes with its own barge. <laughs> And I was going to just move to Alaska and look for. Yeah, gold. Nick low key wants to be an Alaska guy. Well, they don't have property tax. You also get paid for living there, too, because of the oil, I think. Uh, well, I don't know about I that. I think you get, like, a $20,000 check from the government every year. That's not true at all. Maybe I made that up. You but, yeah, I think true. everyone gets a check from the government for living there. Well, they don't have property tax. So, like, let's say if you bought a house, let's say you bought a house, because, I, I, like, I, you know, theoretically could buy property in the next two, three years. Yeah. But if you bought a house and you bought it outright, you have, like... Five years before the government will take it away from you if you don't pay property tax. They'll just still fucking just sell your house. And what? L- l- as shitty as a bank would. They'll mm-hmm. just fucking. Property taxes auction. like here in they'll New York City are tax actually sale low. In your house. What's that? Property taxes in New York City are surprisingly low, I've been told. Yeah, but property price. The, 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 pro- the property the, the prices tax assessment are insane. is through yeah. the fucking roof. Yeah, so, yeah. like, a low percentage doesn't mean shit if you're still paying $20,000 a year. Yeah. I'm never gonna buy property, dude. Maybe I'll be a houseboat guy. You That's know what, what I, mean? I said. After divorce two, I think I'll. Do you be get a your parents' guy. house when they die? I guess. I guess. Yeah. They as own the, that as the firstborn. Yeah. I think my parents still owe a lot on theirs, but I think they own it. Yeah, they own that shit, baby. I want to buy some property in Baltimore. You know, go back to Bmore. The favorite son. If you had $100 million, you'd move back to Baltimore? <laughs> no, I'd buy a house just to go hang out with fucking Cal Ripken and shit, dude. Go to the yard, go to Camden Yards. Yeah, you shouldn't get a house. You'd go to baseball games. <laughs> dude, Camden Yards rules. 
I mean, I'd go every you once in a while. You could do that right now. Yeah, I mean, that's like, if you had a, I don't think you understand how much money a hundred million. <laughs> 100 million. I really have no million concept. A hundred, hundred million dollars is like, I mean, you do, you do shit, get. that's like, that's the shit that fucking the super rich go do stuff, and you don't even know what kinds of forms right, of entertainment right, right. they're getting into. Right. Like going to like Bermuda. Right. And raping an entire native population <laughs> and then like going back to Westchester for dinner. <laughs> All in a fight. Well, you take a G6 down there, you pull an old Adam Friedland <laughs> on the. Uh, on you the, know that guy, uh, Scott Storch? Yes. I think he blew 100 mil. Really? Or maybe like, it was like maybe tens of millions. He was rich hell. He was a fucking hit maker, baby. He blew it like on yachts and just he spent way too much money. It's hard to blow that much money. It is hard. I guess it's work to blow that much money. I guess I would, um, I would open up a restaurant, you know? <laughs> you would open a restaurant? I would open up a restaurant. <laughs> Because I want to be a restaurateur, dude. You know, I want to be a. Fat, it's actually you know, a very I'm, tough business. I know, but if I have a hundred million, it's a pet project. So I'm putting money into it. You're like a patron. Of I'm the, the food. patron. I'm saying hello to everyone. <laughs> it's like you're you know? an art patron, but absolutely with, uh, sandwiches. The finest sh- oh, steaks, steaks and seafood right now, dude. Wow, a little yeah. surf and turf. That's a great concept. Fuck yeah, dude! Steaks and seafood, <laughs> Stavi surf and turf. That's what I call it. And the waiter, the waitresses are all mermaids. With cl- clamshells on their titties, yeah, and they all got big of fucking juicy titties, uh, and uh, hmm, what else? I would give I would give some to charity, you know. Uh, oh, I would not give any money to charity. I learned that that philanthropy is actually bad. Really? Yeah, it's not. It's not good to rely on teach them. Yeah, to fish. you got to teach them how to fish. No, you don't have to teach them how to fish. It, it, we just need wealth redistribution. I, it's not going to be me that does it. I'll support the idea, but until that time, we can't rely on charity. So it's better to just not be charitable at all. Mm. You know, because you don't I wanna, agree. You don't want to make people dependent on that. Sure, sure, system. sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Respect on that, brother. So my hundred million dollars, G six down in Bermuda. A little <laughs> fucking we call it. Because the code name is see the chief. <laughs> code name is Dave and Buster's. Is what we call that one. We're gonna take a little trip to Dave and Buster's today. <laughs> down there in the Bermuda Triangle, where ships disappear. Oh, interesting. What do you hmm. think happened to those ships? Where's they Bermuda? Got snatched up by me and my hundred million. <laughs> Bermuda's not in the Caribbean. It's in the Atlantic. I would probably also try and get away with. Uh, I don't know. Tying a woman up and putting her on a train. train oh, you become a villain. Yeah. Ah. I mean, well, that's what being rich is. That is true. Yeah, yeah. You become Would you a dress villain. like that? Would you have the little mustache? I already have the mustache. You need to get curlier. I could. I did until like uh, uh, three days ago. I guess that's true. No, I, I never that. noticed when you change your I facial switched hair. it to goatee. Yeah, it go, it's a goatee season now, isn't yeah. it? God, I wish I could grow a nice. I think all I hair. do probably is calf implants. Yeah, your legs are scrawny. Instead of yeah. just going to the gym and exercising, no, I get the implants probably. Yeah, yeah, I get, um, I get, sir, I get liposuction. No, I would never get calf implants. You get liposuction. Yeah, I get liposuction. <laughs> I'd be sexy hair plugs? shit. Uh, no, I just grow my hair out again. No, oh, okay. Uh, I would probably try to find a beautiful wife that doesn't love me for the money. But yeah, that doesn't, doesn't exist. That's how you end up like Ed Sheeran. Yeah, who's, who's Sheeran. toxic, toxically masculine. <laughs> <laughs> the poster boy of toxic masculinity yeah. that fucking tomato yeah that singing tomato who got cucked i think by his friend ed sheeran dude he's like the gar who, Frodo? he's like the garfield of pussy instead of mondays <laughs> he hates he hates pussy Ugh. Girls, <laughs> the Garfield of <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> I kind of like that as a title. Yeah. It doesn't make any fucking sense. But I'm gonna start calling well, myself you know, the Garfield. He's of orange. He's round. Okay. He's grumpy. Okay. Okay. You know, he doesn't like Mondays. I know, but the Garfield of Pussy for some reason sounds like someone who fucks. It's, I know it doesn't make sense. No, that's like that's one of those weird British royal titles that's like knocked <laughs> down the list in ascendancy. The to Garfield the, to the of the Crown. Crown. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 Winsley Dooseldorp. <laughs> the Ninth Earl Garfield of Pussy. <laughs> Sh- Shire of Wales. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I'm the Odie of pussy. 
I'm mm. the normal of pussy. I'm actually normal. Adam's the uh, John Arbuckle of pussy. You're Arbu- You're John Arbuckle, especially the one where he drinks cum. <laughs> <laughs> That's the when you, does Adam. He, drink he drinks dog cum. He drinks dog cum. It's awesome. Yeah. It honestly is one of the funniest things I've ever Did seen. Did we in my ever life. tell the? <laughs> it's like this wholesome ass bullshit. <laughs> and this guy just drops out of nowhere, makes one where yeah. he drinks cum. Like Jim veterinarian is like. Congratulations, you're gonna father some puppy. Like, first yeah. of all, why would you just drink a cup of <laughs> yeah. in the doctor's office? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah, why is that out? Wait. Why do you have dog cum just out in that veterinarian? Wait. Also, John, Jim, whatever the fuck, John Arbuckle, you 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 don't look at it and smell cum. <laughs> you just well, dog dog cum smells different. So it smells like coffee. That's the smells thing. Like Jim coffee. thinks he's drinking coffee. So cum and coffee have nothing. John anyway, thinks he's drinking. You're John who drinks cum. Uh, Nick, I guess you're Garfield, and I'm Normal because it's the cute cat. Normal's a boy, by the way. There's another. Cat. I'm not. I'm not Garfield. I'm Roy the Rooster from the U.S. Acres. Okay, you're Roy. I'm Normal, the cute little cat, who's still good. And again, you're J- John who drinks cum. Yeah, you're John because you dress like John. You look like John. You know. Because mm-hmm. I have a job, guys. I guess. Do you have a job? Aren't you getting fired? Uh, It's kind of a quit fire situation. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going full cum these days. You start beating off? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to jack money. off all day. Um, No, I got... Guys, I got a couple of passion projects I got to f- start focusing on. And, uh, passion pit. Yeah, like preparing Listen, your defense. I've given eight <laughs> years to the paralegal profession. And oh, it was... Wow. It was a it was a passion of mine. It was probably the passion of my life. The passion of the Christ. It was the passion. Have you seen of, that movie? Um, you should really you should really look at I, it. I I I look at some hard truths. I went. I saw it in the theaters. <laughs> 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 you your synagogue went and cheered. <laughs> no, <laughs> woo! <laughs> Straight up. Uh, I think Phil said that him and his synagogue saw the passion. That's of the awesome. Um, clapping like black people watching. No, Get Out. I went. I went on one of those days. Me and my friend used to like pay for one movie and then see like three, four movies. Mm-hmm. Like when we were in like middle school. Yeah, yeah. We. Saw no, I'd rather just watch movies in my house, dude. Oh man, that's awful. You, you, you stole, stole Mel Gibson. You stole your way into Passion of the Christ. Oh, that exactly. is pretty. That is I pretty, saw Passion yeah. of the Christ, but I did not give that man a dime of my money. And, and by doing so, proving everything he stands for. I'm still laughing at Adam printing his own coupons for the bank. <laughs> <laughs> These are two for one twenties. Ah, sir, that, that's not how it works. <laughs> yeah, not, you can't get discount money. Well, we'll read the fine right print, here. my friend. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck, that's funny. Coupons at the bank is really good. <laughs> it's like, I have this coupon for more money. Oh, yeah. uh, fuck. I want to fucking... Damn, dude, I'm getting hungry. Maybe I should take more Adderall. Do you want to have... We're gonna. You want to have a late dinner here? No, I don't want to eat. I'm burning up, dude. I don't want to eat late at night, dude. I'm trying to lose weight. Are you sick? No. I have been sleeping all day and... You know. Yeah, what did you do today? Nothing. Nice. Absolutely nothing. I scheduled an eye exam for tomorrow. Got a nice little $35 Groupon mm, eye exam. Not bad. Because I broke my glasses. Not bad, my friend. Yeah. You need new glasses? What are yeah, you gonna I get? sat on my glasses and broke them. Really? Yeah. Nice. What kind of glasses are you going to get? powerful ass. Um, I don't know, I'm, but I'm doing the thing this time where I just get the prescription and then I buy the, frame, the frames online. Nice. You get it from China. Zenny Optical. Yeah, dude. That's my plug. Don't take my Zenny plug. First of all, let's stop plugging shit because it might be uh, yeah, right. conflict with uh, some of our real sponsors. Yeah, yeah. Actually, Being someone sent me a thing for a sponsor. Original I didn't tell sponsor. you. But he said that only I could have the money. It's well, a joke. That's, that's not how it works. Yeah. I'll tell you what it is. It's uh mm-hmm. no. It's uh fuck you. Yeah, that's, this is a bad idea if you have somebody like a No, he's getting free free advertising. Fuck him. After listening to the most recent premium episode, we couldn't think of a better spokesperson for I'm not going to say the name cuz they haven't given me any money. Mm-hmm. We would like to extend a generous offer to you. None of the funds are to be distributed to any other members of the podcast. Can't refuse uh, what industry are they in? Exchange. In? Um, I would say that I, I don't really know how to say it. I, I don't really know what the. It's, it's fake. I mean, I think it's a joke. 
Oh, yeah. This is a DM. This isn't a fucking... It's a DM. You guys keep talking while you're looking at it. Um, so, grilled cheese, what do you think of it, Adam? Are you uh, a fan? I think it's nice. Dunking a little tomato soup. Mm-hmm. But it's got to be a bisque. You know, it's got to be a little creamier. Than I, just fuck like a, you know I fuck with that. I fuck with the bisque you know what heavily, I'm talking about. my friend. You know what I'm saying. A seafood bisque? Yo, a little, but like tomato bisque? Tomato bisque. Basil? Yes, my bitch. And then you dunk uh, mm-hmm. grilled cheese? That's What kind of cheese food. do you want to put in your grilled cheese? Uh, you ever mix them? You can, yeah, you can Ooh, go a different. My own. You get, a, get, get American, Swiss, and yeah, cheddar. This is fake, dude. It's you? fake. You fucking idiot. Well, I, listen, I didn't think it, <laughs> it was real. It says we're funded by the Koch brothers. Well, I didn't think it was real. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. God um, damn! I like to. You know what? I'd like to do a plug for Halkius Custom Woodwork. Yeah. <laughs> That's my dad's actual business. I'm serious. Though, you, they have to pay the show. If you need some woodworking done, uh, you know, go to Halkius Custom Woodwork, and you want an, an old right, green right, band right, to yell right, at we you. Gotta, we got to end this one on some kind of bit. Okay. This guy. This has been so unfunny. <sighs> yeah. Ever since Adam decided to make this episode about money. It's just become <laughs> incredibly grating and boring, and it ruins the tone and the spirit of the what spirit. we set out to do. Guys, if you need to destroy the like, I mean, my grandfather's not alive, so I don't really no, care. No, stop making everything about you. All right. We're going to talk, we're going to end this one we're talking gonna... about our favorite TV dinners. Okay. I like Hungry Man. Me too. Well, good episode, guys. <laughs> good talk. <laughs> What I kind do. of hungry man would eat a TV dinner? That's good. He would get a sandwich. That's really good. From the deli. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Uh-huh. A big pastrami sandwich. <laughs> what kind of hungry Woo. man? Who's... Why do they call them TV dinners? Mm-hmm. You don't eat the TV. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you don't oh, eat the I'll TV. have uh, mashed potatoes with some matlock. Dude, you know when you you know when you like fucking you're like falling asleep and you have some bullshit fake idea for a joke and you're yeah. like oh I gotta write that down and you're like no, yeah, I, yeah, I dreamed shut ideas. the fuck up let me tell you so this is the one I had <laughs> the other the other night I was like asleep uh-huh. and I was uh, you know where you like imagine you're doing a bit and I was like you right. know that song uh, about the the uh, hey Mister Tally Man Tally me bananas mm-hmm. that's like song is actually about the how shitty the job is. And there's this like dangerous spider or mm. whatever that li- the Brazilian wandering spider that lives in the banana bushels, and then <laughs> it's like the most de- deadly spider in the world. And the banana, the guys that cut down the banana like bunches or whatever the yeah, fuck they're yeah. called, they get bit by these spiders and they just die. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, it's like a wait—is that real? Yeah, and it's, there's a line in the song that's like something, something the scary tarantula or whatever. Daylight mm-hmm. come and me want to go home. Oh they're shit! They're up all night getting bit by these like by tarantulas that live in the bananas or whatever. And then I was like in my head like doing a bit about like yeah, but maybe if they wanted people to feel bad for them, they wouldn't have made the song so fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's a really good joke. <laughs> yeah, it should be a somber tune. Yeah, and I remember waking up in the morning being like, oh, what was that good idea for a joke I had? <laughs> I'm like, oh, god damn it. I guess I'm back to not having written a joke for a year <laughs> yeah. and a half. It feels I'm telling good. you, man, I had like, it was Subway Jared was... Good bit. That was the last good news story. He broke story. you. He didn't break me. He broke no, your first ability. Of all, no one can ever break me. I'll right? break you, bitch. I'll fucking break the two I'll of you. I'll break you and I'll fuck you. You think you'd do well as a POW, Nick? A prisoner of war? Yeah. Yeah, of course. I Does sort of adopt that lifestyle. indomitable spirit? Uh, no, because I'm already... Uh, you, you know, it's like the Hulk. My secret is that I'm always uh, angry. You're always angry. Uh, yeah. No, I, I don't know how I would do as a POW. I would I could probably adjust okay. to the living conditions. You that would, would be definitely fine. be the best out of all three of us. I'd fold immediately. I'd rag I'd, on The everyone. idea of not having freedom, though, is like, that's something that affects me deeply. But at living in, like, a cage, I would probably have no issue with. <laughs> Eating bugs and shit. I should, yeah. Even the physical torture. Being far away from my loved ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think all of that would not be a problem. But the idea of, of not being able to leave whenever I wanted would mm-hmm. fuck with me. So yeah. if, you had like a, if you were a part of a free-range prison, you'd be okay. 
No, any kind of prison would not be. Well, you know, like, where, like, all the guys in the unit are. I mean, you guys are treated terribly by the Japanese or whatever. But, like, your commander's there. You make up songs to, like, to, like, I want to survive go to- and pass away, the, pass the time away. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that seems fun. I don't know. I like want to go to Hogan's You know what seems fun? It'd be, like, cool to be in, like, a, in a like, a Cambodian POW camp. <laughs> And uh, they just still let you do your podcast. <laughs> if they let us, yeah, that keep would be kind of cool. Good morning, Cambodia. <laughs> oh, it's me. Oh, 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 shut up! Only I'm allowed to do the impression. <laughs> if you do it too, I'm gonna kick your fucking ass. There's only one guy. That oh, does guess the what, bitch? I'm also you doing shut it. Shut the fuck, fuck you, up, faggot. you fat motherfucker. <laughs> You're hey. listening to the Robin oh, Williams podcast. Hey, oh, it's me, oh. Robin Williams, and it's me also, Robin Williams. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. She, you, now I'm Ringo. He's Ringo, Ringo Williams. He's the Ringo and Robin oh, show. No, I, I'm oh, Ringo Williams. Hey, ooh. Uh, <laughs> Ringo <laughs> Williams. It's basically his career. It's just that kind of shit. Oh, now I'm ooh, Prune Tracy. I'm Ringo Williams. <laughs> All right. Um, and then, Ringo uh, Williams is pretty good. Yeah, I guess. That's it. Bro, I'm going I want to go to Mob Prison. Let's talk about that in another rap. Yeah. Mobs have prisons? Hour, five minutes, 23 seconds. That's a long... That's a free five minutes yeah. for the now, fans. Then why don't you apologize to everybody for making us delete the other one? <laughs> I, don't, I didn't that do was, that. It was, yeah, it was technical difficulties. Stop wink, wink. it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you going to apologize or not? I apologize to no one. And to the to the individuals that called me the K word for us being late on the episode, uh I'm not afraid. And you can keep calling me that the rest of my life. Uh I'm not going anywhere, folks. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, actually you're a dumb bitch. Oh, oh, oh. You. Huh? fuck you, Adam. <laughs> oh, we got a special camp just for boys like you. <laughs> Pat Heinrich Adams. You see that movie? In, he was in, in a Holocaust movie. movie. Oh, you know what I love is twins. I love it. <laughs> twins bring them in to experiments on them. Just patch Adams mangly. Uh, yes, yes. Mangly with a rubber a red nose yeah. on. Oh, what do we got here? Twins. Let's inject some hot water into the brains. This one's dead. Oh, look, it's a zombie. Let, let's do an improv bit for this dead body. <laughs> Let's make him talk black. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put my arms through his and pretend I'm driving. <laughs> All right. <laughs>